may be March, but that hasn't stopped the snow from falling. New Mexico is close to records too. Nine and a half inches of snow in Albuquerque over three days. That's what they normally get in a year. On the first day of March, more than 63% of the continental U.S. is still covered in snow. 49 of the 50 states had snow on the ground on March 1st. In the West, you don't see this very often, an inch of ice pellets that look like snow along the shore in Huntington Beach, California. fish and other kinds of marine creatures which have been washed up here. Pasir is beach east of Singapore. The stench is very strong and unbearable. Flash floods have killed at least 38 people in northwestern Tanzania after strong winds and hail battered villages. Local media quoted police saying the floods had also destroyed food crops. The site of Iarika's eruption was as picturesque as it was dangerous. The volcano in central Chile erupted early Tuesday morning, sending lava shooting 3,000 feet into the air. Thousands of people who live near the volcano are now under evacuation orders. Many huddled together on streets, headed for safety in the middle of the night, gathering whatever belongings they could. The Aka River has continued to swell beyond historic levels in western Brazil, forcing thousands of people to evacuate their homes. Only essential government services were left open in Rio Branco as the river flooded entire neighborhoods in the city. The new image from NASA this evening, a band of white from the deep south all the way up to New England. Scenes like this in St. Louis playing out across the country. Wow, cars spinning out on that exit ramp. On I-65 south of Louisville, gridlock drivers stranded for more than 24 hours. At least 30 states under winter weather alerts today. The storm dumping snow, ice and rain from Utah to Louisiana to Maine. In New York City, manhole explosions causing these street fires. That plane skidding off the runway at LaGuardia Airport stopping just feet from the icy waters. Forcing passengers to slide down the wing, hopping to the snowy tarmac to escape as fuel leaked from the crippled airliner. Boston, a special dive team had to be called to help free this Coast Guard cutter that got stuck in the harbor while clearing icy channels. Melting snow making for mayhem. Look how fast that is. In West Virginia, this bridge washed away in just seconds. Chunks of ice filling rivers. And then Ohio, ice the size of mattresses ending up on the road. We had 43 record lows this morning. These are just a handful. Some of these numbers, all time records for the month of March. This is something you do not see every day. Scientists say it happens maybe only once a year. This 27 foot baby female humpback whale washed ashore here at Sunset State Beach in Watsonville. We've also seen a record number of sea lion pups being stranded on Central Coast beaches this year. This year in Monterey alone, the Marine Mammal Center, there were 65 sea lion rescues. While well, all of last year they had three. In Santa Cruz County, 47 sea lions were rescued. This year, only four last year. A Whitby Island summer home was nearly pushed into the sound after a massive landslide. It happened last night at Brighton Beach. This is the fourth home that's been destroyed in the Brighton Beach neighborhood since the hillside first gave way back in December.
flash of light across our skies has sent WA into a frenzy. Thousands of people got at the fireball as it streaked across the sky this morning. Experts say it was a large and rare meteor. It was just like a big flash that went straight through the sky. I couldn't believe it. I've never seen nothing like it. very small village of Capricota registered more than 100 inches of snow in a period of only 18 hours. That's more than Boston got in January and February combined. It is expected to set the all-time mark for snowfall within 24 hours. The snowfall was so high, as you can see here, that one person was able to climb on top of the snow and shake a neighbor's hand, and that neighbor was in a second-story window. That's insane. That doesn't even... How what? does that happen? How? Uh, snow falls from the uh, sky and it doesn't stop. <laughs> <laughs> but a hundred inches in a day, I mean, come on. It's ridiculous. It is ridiculous. <laughs> I've never heard of ridiculous. such a thing. Yeah. <laughs> huge chunks of ice, not just in the water, but washing ashore. In fact, take a look at this picture that was taken just yesterday, and those are ice chunks. And to give you a perspective of how tall they are, that's a human being in the middle. It towered over the person, a once-in-a-lifetime sight. This winter has been extreme, not just in terms of snow, but in terms of the cold. A rare sight in Hawaii. Look at how deep the snow is. The plow is trying to blast through it all. Looks like something out of Boston, doesn't it? Home video shows a ball of light streaking across the Fort Collins sky. Similar sightings poured in from Nebraska, South Dakota, and Wyoming, all reporting a bright fireball with a glowing green tail. A raging forest fire has forced scores of people to flee their homes in Chile. Around 4,500 people have been evacuated from the port city of Valparaiso and neighboring Vina del Mar. In Ohio, rising temperatures accelerating the melting. Snow and ice on the move. In Minnesota, the frozen chunks heaving ashore. Rivers across America are spilling over their banks, clogged by giant ice chunks. The melting snow and heavy rain forcing floodwaters to rise. There are evacuations underway right now in some spots. Hard to believe just over a week ago, half of the country, more than half of the country, was covered in snow. They had had a week to prepare, but when it came, it was devastating. Cyclone Pam simply tore these Pacific Islands apart. Cyclone Pam lashed this chain of islands in the South Pacific with nearly 170 mile per hour winds. Entire villages have been blown away. The cyclone enveloped virtually the entire sprawling archipelago. With a touch of irony, Vanuatu's president was addressing a UN conference on disaster reduction as the cyclone was destroying his country. So far we found hundreds of changes on the surface. Many of them are too small to really know for sure if they're craters or if they're secondary craters. But we have found over 25 that were absolutely positively confirmed craters. You can see the rim and the ejecta. These very small clods of ejecta were thrown out 10, 20, 30 kilometers away. That's 30,000 meters compared to an 18 meter diameter crater.
Saturday, LA's high of 93 shattered the previous record by five degrees. This year's Sierra snowpack is just 17%, the lowest level in 38 years. Mid-March is not when you'd expect one million people to line Southern California beaches. Winter storms are once again battering parts of Atlantic Canada with high winds and heavy snowfalls. Halifax is almost completely shut down. It's hard to comprehend spring when you know 560 centimeters of snow surround you. Uh, that, that is big. That uh, must be about uh, 15 feet. This is the worst one I've ever seen. I've lived here since 86, and uh, this is wicked, this 